But uh, let's just talk about this. I know I got to get out of here, man. I got I to gotta piss. We've talked about everything else, but I do want to just key in on these lines. On the Thursday slate in Los Angeles, and me and the bet detective have thought about canceling all of our shows and getting, you know, a few cocktails at the Staples Center, whatever the fuck they call it now. Something uh, up with the bet detective, too. Like, he's been dreaming lately. Like, he placed a couple of parlays with Sean, hoping to go to Cabo after hitting them. You know, <laughs> shout, shout out to him though. Like, yeah, yeah go, go to the LA regional. It's right there. I'm yeah. trying to go to the Detroit one. We'll see. Me, me and the bet tech, the bet detective will be live tomorrow, but uh, Thursday's lines, Arizona laying six and a half against Clemson, San Diego state getting nine and a half against Yukon, Alabama getting three and a half against North Carolina, the ally and I getting two and a half against Iowa State. I'm fascinated. You know, I love the regional, the regionality of the Illinois Iowa State battle. Sign me up for that one. Um, what's the one that stands out to you most? Is like we're gonna make a, a, a fortune of gold, Mac. Oh man, um, Duke and Houston. No, no, no. That's Friday. Oh, Friday. Um, oh yeah. I think you read <laughs> off all eight. Um, no. I San Diego State and UConn. Who's going to take San Diego State? Only thing is, I feel like San Diego State could score a little bit better last year. Yeah. What line Brad- reeks? Bama, Carolina? It's a massive look at for North Carolina. Because if, like- if Arizona wins that first game, then they're all thinking about Caleb Love. Yeah. I like Bama as the dog. Uh, biggest scumbag says, I'm down in Orange County. Meet up. Coming to the fucking games on Thursday. I think I'm going to be there. Um, the one that stands out to me is Iowa State. I think Iowa State's going to beat Illinois. That's a Styles Styles makes fight game. I'm interested to see how the Illinois explosive offense goes against that defense. Because uh, I also, uh, yeah, go, go continue. I'm sorry. I, I just saw, I usually lean to the defense in, in these contrasting styles this late in late in March. So, but I mean, fascinating matchup, and that'll be in Boston. So it'll be primarily a UConn crowd, but those two fan bases travel like crazy too. Uh, the other one to me was Carolina. I, I mean, as much as I like Alabama, I think if you're a Carolina fan, you got to love minus three and a half against the tide. Now I did say that I think tide has the perfect path. So it's intriguing to me, but I still think if you're a Carolina fan, you got to say, Hey, it, it's almost smells a little bit in a way. It's short. Yeah. Be, be Nick, do you have one you, that stands out to you? I said, I said actually Alabama because oh, okay. Arizona well, went, so Arizona's the seven o'clock game. If they win that, now they're all thinking about meeting North Car- or North Carolina and shit. Now North Carolina is all thinking about meeting Caleb Love and Arizona in the Elite Eight. Yeah. That is not the right headspace, especially against Alabama when it's going to be a track meet. Yeah. Especially when uh, he fucked your girlfriend, which uh, happened uh, in their locker room. For Fridays- what it's worth, yeah. that total is 20 points higher than any of the other totals on, on Thursday. Yeah. 173 and a half Alabama, North Carolina. So yes, they'll be running up and down plenty. Uh, NC state. So Friday's action, NC state Marquette, Marquette's laying six and a half Purdue laying four and a half against the Zags. Houston's laying three and a half against Duke. Tennessee's laying two and a half against Michael Crichton. Mac, I know you already kind of answered this, but why is Houston the team that that jumps out to you the most out of this slate? Because you got one team that played their best game, arguably, of the season versus the other one that played arguably their worst game. And I think Kelvin Sampson's licking his chops to get a shot at the Dukies. He's going to have those guys ready to run through a wall on Friday night. Well, and that game's in Dallas too, so it should be. And it's in Dallas, yeah. Yeah. But how how did Duke go out? The team that played the overtime. Yeah. True, but, but your best players were fouled out, so they didn't play overtime. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, they rested. Didn't play overtime. <laughs> they rested. Yeah, That's they, a blessing in disguise. You're glad yeah. you're fouled out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll, I'll, hey, and uh, the other thing too, I mean, Kelvin Sampson, they lost in this exact spot last year. He's gonna. That's they, a good point. I, I just Sampson versus Shire, and what bothered Duke of the tournament last year? Physicality, physicality. against Tennessee, and this is physicality on steroids coming up for yeah. the, for the dookies. You're going to hate my one. I think NC state's live. I, oh, I yeah. <laughs> all year, all year. I have not bought into Marquette. Now, like I said, I still think Marquette deserved to beat Colorado today. I'm not that stupid fan. That's going to say that, 
I just don't think they're that good. I think I I, I think they're vulnerable. Now, the, 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 I, I can say that, and I can still say Shaka Smart's a good coach, and he gets the fact that they're that good in the regular season. This is what I'm saying with the Tad Boyle thing. Like, in my opinion, like Colorado should have a, a Mar- our Marquette style resume or record at the end of the year. So he gets the maximum out of his roster. But do I think NC State's live? Hate to say it, I think NC State's live. Uh, know your thoughts. So if you were to ask me of the eight games, the four games that I like most from a betting perspective, all four of them are on Friday. I feel the best about every one of these games, honestly, because my my favorite one of the round is Houston against Duke. Basically because of the physicality angle, we knew it the entire season watching Duke that they were a soft team, especially in the front court. And that's where Houston's strength is. I mean, their physicality, especially in the front court, they don't give up free baskets at the, at the rim. Um, my second one's Purdue. Uh, I really like what Purdue, Purdue pieced up this team in the non-conference. Yes, Gonzaga got a little bit better, but also they played the West Coast Conference when they got a little bit better. I am not taking that for any of its face value. Give me the Boilermakers in that. I think that line shoots up quite a bit. Both of those, four and four and a half, those are closing above six, in my opinion. Next up, I like North Carolina State over Marquette because of what Colby just said and because of what I pointed out when he was talking about the way to beat Marquette. Uh, I think that BJ, DJ Burns, when he has the ball in his hands, he's actually a really good facilitator of the ball. Watching him over yeah. the last two weeks, that's going to kill Marquette. I'm and telling you, man, that, they that, don't that, have that, physical bigs. Colorado, I like, I like Creighton. I think that Brick Barnes, this is the round that he shits himself. So I like the Blue Jays over Tennessee too. That game is very interesting to me because there's completely different styles. Yeah, that's completely my least favorite styles. game. I, <laughs> yeah. I think I think like going to score in Tennessee. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, yeah, I'm with you. As far as confidence, I'm with you, Mac. But I, I just love when you have part of the reason why I love college football more than NFL or, 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 I mean, I know college basketball is on a different planet than the NBA, but I'm saying like, I love it when you get the, st- the, uh, the, the style differences and you can sit there and say, which one will win? You focus in on can Rick Barnes's defense and physicality be the difference because Creighton to me plays like a pussy team at all times. Like I Creighton's a good, a great pussy team to me. Um, and it makes it fun to watch. Here, um, this is like signifying like the total on this game is 144. It's going to be in the seventies. That to me, if you give me that game script, I like Creighton over Tennessee. That game's wild me. to me though. Be Nick that, that like I, I'm with you. Like I want to fade Rick Barnes, but it's not like Creighton's got an unbelievable track record in the postseason too. Like they probably should have lost the other night. So it's like, but that they, game is awesome. Like they're be- a pissed off bunch after what happened to them last year. They were a fingertip away of going from the, going to the final four. But like, who did I they get in the motivated. first round last year? I feel like they should have fucking lost NC early. State. No, no the, second round. Who? The second round was who was the three? I just feel like they. I feel like. I feel like they. It was a close game that they kind of stuck by. Oh, Louisiana, Louisiana. They did they fuck them up? They might have fucked no, them no, up. No, 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 no. They, they almost blew like a fifteen point lead, and then they fucked Duke up. Maybe I'm thinking of the year before. I don't know, but anyway, my point is, is I'm fascinated by that matchup, and uh, I got one for Thursday. Actually, I I really like Arizona. The more and more I think about it. I, I think Clemson off back to back outright dog wins. Arizona much more talented playing at home. I think it, they're going to put it on. Dave, are you going to be in LA? Because I, me and CJ might go. Might have to buy you a beer in, at, at the whatever the fuck they're calling that stadium now. We'll, we'll be talking about all these games coming up in the next week. We're going to have NC Nick on a show for the next week too. We'll, NC we'll Nick's on tomorrow night. Tomorrow I'm night. sure he's he's dotting his eyes and his lowercase J's waiting for Moneyline Mac. But uh got to be careful. Yes. Who's, who's his team play this week? <laughs> yeah, you, uh, oh, the only yeah. ACC fans, there's another round here coming up. Yeah. And you got four hard games here. So you better keep it rolling. Buddy, it buddy, right I love you, you, buddy. And I'm with you. I talk a bunch yeah. of shit. But sometimes you just got to say, hey, it's like with me with NC State you got at this, this point. Round. They got it's this like, round. Yeah, NC State. I still don't see you scheduling East Carolina because <laughs> we'll storm your fucking court. And you know that uh, folks we will be back tomorrow to talk about all this stuff. I uh, appreciate you rock with us. Shout out to everybody that uh, met up with us and, uh, and, and listens to us. It's been a fun year and, and, and we're, we continue on with this, with all these fucking games. Shout out to day college basketball happening tomorrow. Don't think you're better than these games. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right. 
Uh, give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at Noah B 77 underscore Moneyline Max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D the college basketball experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Don't forget. I'm live with CJ Sullivan. We got college basketball uh, bombs down under tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow night we're back with NC Nick, Mac Beanick, the usuals. We're back. We're back at, you know, the boys are back in town. Uh, Check out the sports gambling podcast. Check out the bottom line bombs podcast. Check out the big 12 podcast, the big 12 experience, uh, the college baseball experience, the college football experience, the FCS college football experience. And uh, yeah, can't wait to watch more college basketball tomorrow morning. Right. When I wake up until next time, folks, we love you. This is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours and we out of here. <laughs>